this morning's Money Watch, sneaky retail tricks. Stores work very hard tweaking prices, offering special promotions, and it's all in an effort to get us to spend more money and probably more money we probably shouldn't. Joining us now with five common tricks to avoid is CBSMoneyWatch.com contributor Farnoosh Tarabi. Great to have you with us, Thank Farnoosh. Thank you for having me. A friend of mine is in business school. He has yeah. an entire class dedicated to yes. learning about these tricks. This is not a coincidence. You don't just walk into a store and see something for 99 cents and say, oh, this is a steal. <laughs> There is a very, there's a science behind this most in most cases. Behavioral economics. All right, so let's take a look at the yeah. menu because oftentimes you'll look at a menu, right? There's no dollar signs. Right. Why is that? Because when you remove the dollar sign, the consumer thinks, and the studies have proven this, consumers think, you know, this is not actually a cost. Mm -hmm. It's not a price. So you don't add up the cost like you normally would. Um, and they do teach this in restaurant management schools across the country. So, so subconsciously, it doesn't feel like you're actually getting charged for it. Exactly. Now, Another issue is this whole five for five dollars. Right. You'll walk in, oh my goodness, if I buy five, it's five dollars. Right, but the retailer doesn't tell you, the supermarket won't necessarily tell you that you could just buy one for a dollar. They want you to buy in volume. They want you to pay up for the five or the ten for ten dollars as opposed to just one or two. You brought this up at the beginning, mm -hmm. the whole things that end in nine right. or things that end in ninety-nine or ninety-five prices. Why do they do that? Retailers call this charm prices. And there's two reasons behind this. One is because because when something ends in 99 or 95, culturally we're conditioned to think that it's a steal, that it's a mm -hmm. deal. There's a science behind this too, in which is that when we read things in the English language, we read from left to right. So yeah. that first digit is what really resonates the most. So 799 actually in our brains gets in codes as $7, yeah. as opposed to the closer price tag, which is $8. Very interesting. Mm, yeah. Another issue is this whole create a frenzy around it by right. saying, we're gonna limit the amount you can have at our right. very special price of the day. And what that does is it incites adrenaline. And when you shop on <laughs> adrenaline. I feel adrenaline right. when I shop. When you see wine, you know, for example, five uh, for, for a limit per customer, you think this is a steal or this is so scarce, I need to get as many as I can now before the store runs out or before it gets discontinued, which is just a false premise. It's a false premise. So buyer beware. Yes. Last thing is this whole idea of buy one, get one yeah. free. That all of a sudden, again, the adrenaline right. rush comes over you and you think, wow, today yeah. I can get something for free. Absolutely. And we see this at the retailers. We see this across the board, online, offline. One, it gets you in the store. It's a promotion. And, you know, buy one, get one free. Buy three, get one free. The word free in our brains, it has no downside. You know, psychologically, <laughs> we're like, what's there to lose? It's a win-win. But actually, you have to spend money to get the freebie. So is it really a deal? All right. Good points yeah. all around. We do have some tips, however. We're not going to leave people Good. hanging with all the facts. So yeah. what do you recommend? So because a lot of these prices, you know, we, we rush to think that there are deals. We don't make the calculations in our brain. So bring a calculator with you. I see this with moms and, and fathers in the grocery store, pushing the cart and calculating on their phone exactly how much they're spending because this is actually going to give you the truth as opposed to what you, the perception is. Yeah, I was going to say easier than ever now that you carry a cell phone yeah. most of the time. What else do you recommend? So the next Next tip is shop with cash. I've talked about some on the show before with you but that, that cash limits you yes. technically, right, as opposed to a credit card. But studies show that when you carry bigger bills, like a 50, it's more painful to break that 50. So carry a 50 as opposed to, say, 10 fives or 5 tens. Psychologically, it's harder to see that go from your wallet. Two more tips. Ask yourself if it appeals at full price. Right. I mean, if you didn't want this when it was at its original price or didn't think that this was appealing at its original price, it's probably not something that you want. Again, maybe you're shopping on adrenaline. And, you know, finally, distance yourself from the retail environment. If you're in the mall, the lighting is great, the, the sales lady's telling you you look <laughs> fabulous. You know, this is not a an educated environment. You know, you have step to step away from step the handbag. Away. You'll, you'll more likely be able to rationalize or not rationalize the purchase and make a healthier decision that way. It's a good point. And also, it's a negotiating tactic, too. You walk away from right. something, all of a sudden, maybe they'll come back to you with a better exactly. deal. Exactly. Negotiation, right now, especially retailers need to make money. Mm -hmm. So you have the power as the consumer to get the deal that you want. Know that a lot of these times these prices are marked up, right? So you have that wiggle room. Farnoosh Tarabi, as always, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Happy shopping. Thank you. And for more ways to stay ahead of those retail tricks, visit our sister website, cbsmoneywatch.com.